In the latest Star Trek episodes, there are both small and large Easter egg moments and the bounty. Episode 6 of Season 3 of Picard is an example of the latter. While it may not have more Easter eggs than other Trek episodes, the references in this episode have a greater impact on the story. Unlike some franchises where Easter eggs can feel like mere fan service, the references in the bounty are integrated into the Trek universe and feel natural. This episode and season 3 of Picard as a whole can serve as an introduction to the 90s era of Trek shows. The Easter eggs in the bounty are a combination of all of Trek, and they add to the storytelling in a meaningful way. While it's impossible to cover all the Easter eggs, this video will delve into the most significant ones and how they contribute to the plot. The episode The Bounty gets its name from the Klingon bird of prey called Ashasmem Bounty, which was featured in the films The Search for Spock and The Voyage Home. The ship was originally stolen by Kirk and his crew in the search for Spock and was named the Bounty by Bones in the Voyage Home. The ship's name references the historical mutiny on the HMS Bounty in 1789. In Picard Season 3, our heroes find themselves in the roles of mutineers early on and by Episode 6, the Titan is now basically a borderline pirate ship. In the episode, Jack Crusher expresses his love for Captain Kirk and the Constitution Class Enterprise A when the Titan visits the Fleet Museum at Athen Prime. This love for Kirk is significant because it contrasts with his rejection of John Luke Picard and the contemporary version of Starfleet. While some children in the 1990s argue with their parents over which captain was better, Jack's love for Kirk challenges Picard's character. This Easter egg becomes even more meaningful when considering that the episode also shows Kirk's dead body. In the episode, Riker and Worf visit the Daystrom station where they see Kirk's remains, which we can only assume were dug up by Section 31 after Picard buried him on Viridian 3. This is significant because it symbolizes the end of two eras, the original cast and the Enterprise-D crew. The scene also ties in with the theme of mortality and legacy in Picard Season 3. Also could mean a cameo of Kirk in the upcoming Picard spin-off, Star Trek Legacy, the Enterprise A, which survived a bird of prey attack in the undiscovered country, is seen at the Fleet Museum, which is reminiscent of what is happening to the Titan in season. We also see it with other famous Star Trek ships like Voyager and the Defiant. The introduction of the Constitution class USS New Jersey is significant as it is the home state of showrunner Terry Metalis. The replacement of ships in the Trek canon is not limited to the Enterprise A and the second Defiant characters such as John Luke Picard and Data have also been given new life in new bodies. In Daystrom Station, Ricker, Rafi, and Worf discover a new version of Data that is a composite of his memories in a fresh vessel. Data's numerous and often false deaths are similar to those of Sherlock Holmes, who was killed off by Conan Doyle but was resurrected for subsequent stories. Data's journey was not over until he became properly human and Geordi says he is synthetic but human. We then see Data's eyes project the image of Picard's original human body when asked what was stolen from Daystrom Station by the Changelings. Generations beyond TNG have become central to the future of Star Trek, and the show emphasizes the importance of how one lives. And now, Picard Season 3 is making that funny little exchange into a deadly serious conversation. Data and Picard can't live forever. Wrecker's in trouble too. The past isn't just a fun joke or reference. It creates the future. Because, after all the deep cuts and shoutouts, Picard Season 3 reminds us that what happens next is all that really matters.